Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be really diving in to the armor that we're going to need for future episodes. So, I hope you guys are ready. So today, boy do we have our hands full. We are going to be working mostly over here, um, and we're going to be setting this up for auto-crafting, kind of auto-crafting, um, for the most part. And uh, we're going to be working towards getting some draconic armor made, and the reason we need to do that is because eventually we're going to have to go after... That's right, the Chaos Guardian. And that's the only way we're gonna be able to, in my opinion, beat this pack, which is getting the Tome of Knowledge and completing all these top tier quests. Um, same goes for this. This is what I would consider the last item that you would want to create in here. And that's where we're going towards. Um, because you need chaotic everything for this. Two chaotic uh, crafters. You also need the transmutation tablet, which we'll get eventually. Um, but I've also been working on EMC build, building. So you literally, I have upped my production quite a bit. Each one of these apparently do stack. I have noticed that they do increase. So this is producing about um, 90. I think this increases by 18. And then 18 times 5 will get us 90. So that's uh, about 90 ticks every one tick. So this is how fast this is speeding it up. So about 1,800 ticks every 20 or eight, eight, every second about eight, 1800 ticks go by so that's how fast this is actually speeding it up and as you can see this does produce this stuff really really fast look how fast that bar is going up and that's about a billion emc 1.3 billion emc each time it makes one of those octuple compress um, and then i can throw that in here and as you can see we now have 387 billion emc stored but that's nowhere near the amount we need just to make the sword, um, the, the infinity sword, we're going to need 600 billion. Uh, maybe a little less since we already have one infinity ingot, but we're going to need about 600 billion EMC in order to make the, the sword of the cosmos, which is what we're going to actually use to fight the dragon. But we, st we can still die without, uh, you know, without the cosmic armor. And everything like that, we can still we can still die. We need to be able to get close enough to that draconic or to that um, dragon in order to kill it with that sword, and that's what we're going to work on fully upgrading our armor today. So to do that, we need to craft a few things, and I also need to show you this. I have upgraded my chickens. Um, I went ahead and bred up some chickens. Also went ahead and got some experienced chickens just in case. And yeah, I went through all of the uh, the processes today for breeding it. You had to get pig iron chickens, which are down here. Um, a lot of the stuff I've already moved over, but yeah, we had to go through pig iron, uh, we had to get aridite, and then also a magma cream chicken, which is what we use that to also breed all that together. And now I have the ability here, of course I'm using a dark matter pedestal with a watch flowing time, to just increase this. And now I can just pull out block after block, because these guys are producing the nuggets, and yeah, we have so much of this. So I'm just going to pull out... I, I, we don't ever need this much. This is like way overkill for Awakened Draconium. It is some really nice stuff. We can use it to upgrade this to the max tier, which that will definitely come in handy. So we'll definitely be able to do that. But I did set up some auto crafting and we also need to take a look at the Draconic stuff anyways. So to get the Draconic armor, we're going to need an Awakened Core. And the Awakened Core is what we're going to try and automate today because this should be a pretty simple process to automate. We need a bunch of Wyvern Cores. And we're going to have to remember, we need this for each thing. And that's going to be one, two, three, four. And then we're going to need it for this, which is going to be our, our upgrading each uh, staff or uh, item, which includes a shovel, a sword, and a pickaxe. And to do that, that's each going to require Awakened Core itself. So keep that in mind. And then plus, when you actually go to craft the Staff of Power, it's going to also require an Awakened Core. So one, two, three, four. And then we're going to have five, six, seven, and then eight. So we need a total of eight Awakened Cores uh, for today's video. I think that might actually increase. Um, I don't know if we're going to make the bow and stuff like that, but we might. The main thing I want to get, though, is the Staff of Power. I'm not really interested in the bow, even though the bow is really nice. The Staff of Power is going to replace our pickaxe. And then I also want an Advanced Dislocator. So we need to keep all that in mind. So four, three, four. So eight. Eight is exactly what we need. So awakened cores are going to require four. So eight times four, if we do some quick maths, 
um, will be 32 wyvern cores we're going to need, right? And then 8 times 5, going to be 40 on that. So 40 draconium ingots, right? Or uh, and then 32 wyvern cores. So for the wyvern cores, let's take this out. We'll do 31 because we already have some. And we'll get those crafted up. Oh, we're going to need gold. Well, that's pretty simple because <laughs> we have EMC now. So getting gold is not going to be an issue for us anymore. So course. 31. How am I still missing gold when I just put it in there? Oh, I need it a lot. I see. I need a lot more than what I just pulled out. Good thing we have this tablet because, man, we would be really, really hurting if we didn't have this. There we go, core, now 32, or 31. Now we can craft those, perfect, and we should see them being produced over here. Look at that go. Technically, I could probably, if I had the power to run the cabling, I could put more molecular assemblers up here and they could do four crafts at a time. Right now it's basically doing two crafts at a time on one molecular assembler, which, I mean, works, gets the job done. So now that I have everything needed, I have them all lined up on the floor, ready to go inside of our crafters. And uh, it's actually pretty easy just to place this on the ground, actually right click on the item, pick it up, and then place it in. That way you kind of keep an eye out on everything and allowed me to be <laughs> make it a little bit easier to just uh, make sure I have everything placed right. So let's get these all in here and make sure that these actually have to be draconic in injectors, um, which is next to the top tier, not exactly top tier, but next to it. And then inside here, which once you have all this filled, you can then throw your nether stars in here. Now, this is not going to activate on its own, but we can activate it by putting a redstone signal here. And that will activate it. So if you want to set this to auto mode, basically just put a redstone clock or some kind of um, redstone clock like signal up to this and it will auto craft for you. And you can basically just let it do its thing and whatever, whatever you need to do will work. Um, you can even place it on the bottom. It doesn't really matter just as long as you have a redstone signal going to it. Um, now here is the, the other part. Once this actually does craft, we can speed it up. It should automatically go into the next one. So let it finish. And you can see output is obstructed. This is where we're gonna actually have to go in and fix the output, All right? So here's where we're gonna have an item conduit and a filter, place the item conduit down. Fortunately, I'm gonna need to get my, well, ax. Um, oh, it's on me. Take my axe, we'll just get down here. And we'll set the output filter, because I'm almost positive that if you don't set the output filter, it will automatically pull this out as well. So you kind of got to be careful there, but we'll set the output filter to this. And of course, we'll set, fix this, and then set this here. And that should insert. Uh, we do need to set this to auto. So it says this to uh, always active. And now this thing is automatic at this point. So this should take the awakened cores and it should craft them. There should be more than one in here after this craft finishes. Right? Yep, and there it goes. Started another one. And we're pretty much crafting those automatically. Very simple to do. Um, you just have to have the items in and it should work. Um, it'll work the same way with all of these. We can actually funnel the items in, and that's another way we can actually do it. So now that we have all of the uh, the awakened cores made, we should be ready to move on. Now, I did go ahead, and let's pop over in here. In a draconic, I went ahead and made eight of these draconic energy cores. These are something you actually need to make. Um, if we take a look at the actual draconic evolution, you can see we do have these quests to claim. And we should be working our way. Now, right here it says Chaos Guardian. It I don't know why he they decided to use the actual heart um, from just the normal dragon kill when the Chaos Shard is actually what you get. Um, but that's what that is. Um, we haven't really worked on the Mob Grinder stuff. I'm not really interested in that. The Advanced Dislocator is something that I want. And then the Portable Battery is what we're going to also work on anyways. 
But this is the big thing right here, getting our armor. That's what we're gonna work on now. And to get this armor, let's open this up, just some normal speed upgrades, it's nothing really big. To get this upgraded, let's go ahead and break down this uh, drawer. We'll place down a regular chest, and then we're gonna swap this up here with a hopper. And this is gonna make this really interesting because we can actually do all of this without us manually placing each armor piece in. Um, and same with our weapons and stuff. So if we take a look at what we need for this, we're gonna need two Dracon or two um, Awakened Draconium for each armor piece, right? Two, four, six, eight. And then we also need uh, the same for our weapons. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. And then I think for the final thing, this requires more. So we'll worry about that last. So 14 Awakened Draconium. So there's that. And we need to split this up into two. Oh, I think it's more than that. I counted wrong, didn't I? It should probably be eight a piece since it's two, because we have eight of everything. And then we'll just place these in, much like this. The Awakened Core, they should all be together. It should just be four individual things that you need, just like that. And then we start placing this stuff in. And it should be done. We can do it just like this. It'll take that one item, drop it in, start to craft the next piece, and then it's gonna spit it out into these chests, and I can even throw our tools in here. So I need to put my pickaxe in here, I'll throw my sword in next, and then whenever it consumes that next item, like it's doing now, I can go ahead and speed this up. Should pull, oh wait, it won't pull it out because we don't have it added to the filter. So I mean, it won't pull it out, but it put it in. <laughs> <laughs> basically unfortunately that's how it works I want to see if maybe taking that filter will it automatically pull this out I don't think so okay okay so if we pull the filter out then it will work I didn't know if we needed the filter I think in 110 I remember have I remember I needed a filter otherwise it would automatically pull the top slot item out as well but I'm, I'm guessing it doesn't do that now so now it will fully work speed that up as you can see it just placed it in there now this will automatically fill up energy wise because we have a controller um, over here and this controller is powering all of our stuff just in case you don't know it's pulling power from here as well and powering our armor and look at it go again this will go for our next item I'll go ahead and throw my shovel in there and all that should start working yeah it's pretty simple actually. So all the items have now been completed and now we need to kind of throw them on. Let's go ahead and get this armor off. Throw this into our system. And we can throw our armor on. Oh man. And this is just insane. And it's gonna start filling up with power. And you can see the RF storage there at the bottom left and our entropy is a zero, but the next one is the how much RF our, our uh, Equipment's actually storing, so 64 million RF. And a really cool thing is now we have creative flight. I mean, we had creative flight with the other armor, but now we have really powerful armor and creative flight. Now, this is not the only thing that this can do. Um, you can hit, which I don't know what the default key is, but you can you can search it up in your controls. Um, but if you hit, which mine, I have mine set to numpad five, so I can access it there. Um, you can actually select each individual pieces and turn off different things. So the helmet has auto feed, um, and it tells you a little bit about this. It'll automatically stuff your face with food from your inventory when you're hungry. Yes, I'm going to do that. It'll keep me always fed. Um, night vision lock right here. This lock night vision to active regardless of the light, vis uh, light level you're in. This one right here enables night vision. It says the default will only be applied when you are in dark areas. So that would probably be what I want. I don't want to lock night vision always on. Kind of looks weird. And then uh, the hide armor, you can actually turn this on, and if you turn on hide armor, it'll actually show that you're not wearing any armor at all, which sometimes is pretty cool and can be used for trolling and stuff like that. Um, but each thing does its own thing, so flight speed modifier, we can turn up the speed, I like the default speed. Inertia cancelization, uh, or cancelization, cancelization, um, cancellation. <laughs> this is kind of weird. So if this is on, you notice that you don't like you, you completely stop like immediately. 
Um, whereas Creative Flight, you kind of have that little slight glide. This is like very precise. So you don't have, you don't have that. I mean, you still have a little bit when you go up and down. See how when you go up and down, you kind of glide a little bit. Well, forward and backwards, you don't have that. If you use that. I mean, I, I don't personally like it. That's not something that I actually enjoy. And then we have boost on sprint, which is something that I liked, uh, like. Um, and you can turn that off or not. Uh, flight lock. This right here allows you to go and create a creative flight. So it'll always be active. So that way you don't have to double tap. You'll always be in flight mode, which can get probably annoying um, if you're not careful. Um, and this, yeah, this one right here enabled another thing. You can just disable your armor entirely. So that's pretty cool. You can also set profiles for all this, by the way. Um, and here's the uh, like HUD GUI. You can actually customize where everything's placed. So if you want to change where this displays, you can do that. Um, also, draconic legs, speed modifiers. You can, of course, make yourself walk incredibly fast. The boost that up to 20. Um, we may have to boost it up a little bit more, depending on how fast I want to actually run. And then we can do boost on sprint, which won't always make us fast, but we can actually have a speed modifier all the way up and have boost on sprint enabled, and then when we sprint, it'll apply that speed modifier. Then we have disable FOV warp. I kind of like that because when you're sprinting, normally you have that FOV that is enabled. Um, with this on like this, let's kind of turn this off. Now let's actually turn our sprint modifier all the way up, 200, and we'll have this disabled, right? And you can see that my FOV is really warped. Right? I don't like that. I'd prefer to have my FOV exactly where I want my FOV, so I don't get headaches. And to do that, you can just disable FOV warp. Like that. And as you can see, now we're at a normal FOV. I don't I don't exactly like the speed all the way up that high, but I think I might set it to like 50. 50. 50 somewhere in there. There we go, 50. Um, and then of course hide armor again. Now for the feet. You have jump boost, the jump modifier. I will, of course, allow you to adjust the speed boost given with this armor piece for the actual jump. And then there's boost on sprint. Step assist on, I love that. And uh, yeah, we can just turn this, I'll turn this up to 50% on the jump boost. You don't want to go too crazy because, I mean, sometimes it gets annoying. But like 50%, uh, will that allow, no, maybe I should go to 100%. Well, here's a friend. Can you get out of here? The sword is really powerful, by the way. Um, so yeah, maybe we'll, maybe we'll bump that up to 100%. I think that'll let us jump two blocks high. Right? Yes. So we can now jump exactly two blocks high. And I kind of like only j being able to jump two blocks high. We might actually push it just a tad bit more. Just so we don't get that auto step affecting us. Let's do that. We'll do jump modifier. Let's do 125. That might feel, yeah, that feels a lot better. We don't have that auto step affecting us. Perfect. Yeah, I like being able to jump at least two blocks high. It just, sometimes I just like to jump around my base and having it too high kind of makes it interesting. So we have all of that done. Let's actually now upgrade our weapons. Now our weapons by themselves also in their state actually have their own things that you can do with them. Um, this draconic pickaxe has a tons of different things, depth modifiers, um, junk MET sensitive. You can actually configure a junk filter to delete items if you want while mining. So if you want to just delete stone, you can, um, you also have the shovel, which pretty much does close to the same thing as the pickaxe, except for it works on ground, but I want to upgrade this to the draconic staff of power, which is an incredibly overpowered, item um that man is just it's just absolutely amazing so let's pull these out because technically we only need five so let's drop five in there just like so and then we're also going to need this set up we're gonna need a shovel and our sword and then the pick in the center so sword shovel and you can notice we're actually utilizing all these slots and uh, we're going to just place that in here. Right? And I think we, we should have just about everything. Unless I'm missing, I'm missing something. Oh, we have an extra piece that we don't need, which is that core. 
or not the core, this piece. We don't need this energy piece. Energy core. That's what I was looking for. But yeah, all of that is ready to go now. <laughs> boy, oh boy, am I ready to get this item. Um, this bad boy is a crazy work of art, man. Uh, incredibly good looking textures model. It is phenomenal. Let's go ahead and speed that up so we can get it right away. Man, does it look good in there. Look at that. Pull it out. And now we have the Draconic Staff of Power. It is going to kind of go a little crazy on us there for a second because it is powering up. Boy, look how fast it's like bouncing up and down. It's kind of hilarious. All right, so now this thing is done. Now let's take a look at the modifiers on this bad boy. So we have an attack radius. It's maxed out. We have the AOE staff effect right here. When enabled, the tool will break anything it detects. That I don't want. Let's go ahead and hit, hit this guy. Look at that. Just instantly one-shots it. That's because this thing is pushing 60 attack damage by default, which is also kind of crazy. I know we have a sword that does 99, 999 damage, which is also pretty ridiculous in itself. But this one has its own modifiers and is also a pickaxe. Does all the same stuff as the shovel and the pick and the sword, so you can have it all in one tool, which is really nice. Also, you can profile these. You can actually make different profiles and then cycle through profiles if you're in different situations. So say you're in AOE safe mode, we might want to turn that on. Um, I always hate accidentally breaking my entire base because I have something like dig AOE on and it just breaks. But yeah, for right now, this should be pretty good. And we can also enable junk filter. Dig depth, we can change that. And it actually shows you, um, there's actually a, a way to show your stuff. Um, where's it at? Dig, show dig AOE. There we go. So when I show this, you can see these dots. They actually show how deep I'm going to be digging. So that's three blocks in front of me, three blocks down, and that's only in one, one wide. We can take this and make this a lot bigger. Dig AOE. We can go all the way up to a five by five, and this can actually be upgraded even further using upgrades, which is what we're about to get into. So I'm gonna change the dig depth. I don't really need that, but you can see that this breaks stuff instantly. You no longer need an ax. That breaks, that breaks that log immediately. Like there's no need, there's really no need for anything other than this. It's kind of insane. Um, and I love it for that. Man, this thing is amazing. And our armor, we look super ridiculous. Yes, I know. We're crazy ridiculous looking. It's it's quite hilarious with all of our stuff on. So now that we have all this stuff, and really at the moment we're just waiting for our EMC to build up. As you can see, we just got 24 more billion just in that short period of time. We're getting pretty close. We need about 200 more billion before we can actually make the sword. And now we have the armor. But I want to make something called an advanced dislocator. It's very, very useful, and actually you can get this thing early on. All you need is Wyvern, um, but you need a regular dislocator, which requires some Draconium Dust, which I think we have some, so we should be good there. Uh, let's see, we need Eye of Ender, and we also need Blaze Powder. Throw all that inside here. We'll make yourself a dislocator. Then we also need the Advanced so we're also going to need some Ender Pearls and some Draconium and a Wyvern Core. Wyvern Core is pretty easy to make. Let's get that done. And then we're also going to need Ender Pearls. Uh, need a little bit of Ender Pearl, and we also need some Draconium. So perfect. We should be ready. Just wait on the core, which should actually be done. And that's about all we need for this. And this thing is amazing. So let's take this and we need three to four to one. Awesome. Three to four. Like that. Or three, sorry, three ender pearls, four draconium. Was I right? We're missing one draconium. And all we gotta do is put that in there. And that should automatically start for me. How cool is that? And that's going to be making 
the advanced dislocator, which is an amazing teleportation item that allows you to save teleport, save locations, automatically head to a certain place. So if I want to just automatically teleport here, I can just right click, set the location, it'll automatically be there ready to go. Um, you could have multiples, but I, as of right now, I just need one of them. And we can store all of our stuff there. It's going to consume ender pearls, but you know, we can have unlimited ender pearls. You can see right there are my auto night vision turned on, which is kind of weird. I think it was because I was too close to the ceiling and it just decided to turn on. But voila, advanced dislocator. So if I wanted to set a location here, I can go, all right, add new, and then we'll set this to Draconic Crafting, commit, right? So that's gonna save that one. And right now it has no fuel. Um, so let's go ahead and add fuel to it. You hold shift right click and you click add fuel or if you shift right click on add fuel, it'll add all the fuel, um, which it uses ender pearls, right? So you can click add fuel. It's gonna to continue to add, and maybe it's not, maybe it doesn't do all the ender pearls, but it should. Maybe it does so many at a time. So, oh, it does 16 at a time, duh. Of course. Uh, but we get 64 out of here, so. So that shouldn't take too long. We'll just throw some ender pearls in. And this thing will last us forever, really. Like, we'll never have to worry about it again. I'll put so many in here, there's going to be no need for me to ever worry about it. But as you can see, I set that home, and now it'll teleport me there. As you can see, it showed up right here. But if I set multiples, I'll show you how this works as well. This is a really cool tool. So if I want to be, I want to go here, we can set this to add new, uh, home, home ME system. I'll change that to ME. And then commit. And now we can select between them. So if I want to go here, I can actually just teleport using the internal teleport. Um, so I can go Draconic Crafting. And uh, where is it at? Not set here. Do do do. Right click on it. Yeah, right click to teleport. Right click to teleport. You see, I'm going back and forth. And back and forth. I mean, you can do it that way if you want to. Or you can actually select it as of right now. And then now the draconic area is selected. I can teleport to it. If I select this one now, it's actually set to ME system. And I can do that. You can also. You should be able to scroll and hold shift down and you can see I'm actually selecting my different place. So if I want to go back to the Draconic Crafting, I can just hold scroll, make sure that shows up and then right click. So yeah, this thing is very powerful and awesome. Like it's amazing. And of course you can just store multiple ender pearls in here to your heart's content. And it uses an ender pearl, I think each time you teleport. So pretty, pretty cool. Like that's really cool. Um, I'm actually going to save this down here and I'm going to say, this will be our power room. But on servers and stuff, this is a really handy tool. You can save people's base locations and do things like that. It's re a really powerful tool. But yeah, that's really cool. So we were able to do that. Get that all set up and it looks wonderful. So we now have all the draconic stuff we need, but there is a few more things that we need to go over that we actually need to do to our armor. And that would be upgrading our armor shield capacity and also upgrading the RF capacity, both of which need to be upgraded for me to even think about getting close to Mr. Chaotic Dragon over there. So in order to do that, we actually need to make these. Now, they have different tiers. You can see Wyvern and Draconic. Draconic goes up to five tiers, or five of these levels. And I'm assuming that you put each one you put on there adds to the level. Um, so capacity will increase the amount of internal storage capacity. So we have 64 million um, RF that's stored between all of our armor pieces, because each team each holds 16 million. But I want to make sure, let's go ahead and clear that off. Get rid of him. Um, 
I need to make sure that that if I do get hit, that it doesn't kill, it doesn't run out of uh, power in my armor. Um, and to do that, we just basically need to upgrade this. Also, upgrading the shield capacity will add more shield or more the, of the. Uh, you see where it's red and green. Um, let me kind of open my inventory. See where it's green here and goes to red. Um, and it says it's uh, it's 512. If we add more of the shield capacity there, it'll actually increase that dramatically, and that can go up to uh, five tiers as well. So let's get to crafting that. Each armor piece is going to need that. So if we have four armor pieces, that is going to be 20. So uh, we should, like, uh, we should have enough, I think, to make uh, 20... Yeah, we're, I'll basically, I'm going to just set up an auto crafting for each one of these. So I should be able to set an auto craft, right? What I need to make, diamond armor. So that's going to have to have an auto craft. Um, so let's throw this in here. Will it let me do it if I have the, yeah, I I should, if I, let, if I have the recipe in there. So there's the, those. And then we also need the RF capacity upgrades. So I should be able to make an auto craft for those. So the same goes for all of this with the setup, except for we're going to change a little bit here. Um, there's no longer going to be a chest. We're not going to need a chest, but we are going to set up an automatic routing system. I don't know if it can input from the sides. We're going to, we're going to find out. So let's set this to insert and we're going to see if it can actually output or input the item from the side. But what we're going to need to do is because this is going to literally craft 20 times. This is going to have to do this 20 different upgrade times or 20 different cycles. We're going to need to make sure that we do this correctly, right? So let's make sure we split our, our things up and we place them incorrectly. There should be 20 of each. Perfect. And now once we place our actual armor pieces in here, um, I guess our armor pieces need to go in five times. So technically, we should remove this and split this up into five, right? So we split that up into five. That way, each time it goes through the process, it should stop. Uh, but I want to see if this will actually rotate our armor out five. So if I throw this in here, that should want to craft, right? So what can we, maybe we can't do it to this. Maybe it's only certain armor pieces. Maybe I'm not getting the, maybe I'm not understanding this correctly. Shift, golden, okay. Oh, we need a draconic core as well. I keep forgetting about the draconic cores. We're actually gonna need to auto craft those. Um, draconic core, we're gonna need 80. 80 draconic cores. That's a lot. <laughs> oh wait, no, we only, we don't need 80. We only need 40. Oh well. That's fine. We'll get we'll get a few of those going. Um, at least for right now, we have 20, which is going to be more than enough for this startup. All right, so that should mean that now my helmet actually should work. Yes, there it goes. Should automatically start. And hopefully when it's done, it will pull it out and rotate it back in. That's what we're going to wait for and what we're going to see and find out. Um, and it will stop at 5. This should be able to tear up to 5 on that, that max upgrade. And we're gonna see, just a little bit of math and uh, we should have everything everything done here. It shouldn't take very long at all. All right, let's go ahead and bump this. Does it rotate back out? Upgrade applied. Okay. So does that mean I can't upgrade it again? Upgrade already applied. Okay. So maybe, I, maybe I'm overthinking how this works. Oh, the Draconic tier actually had its own upgrades. Oh no, did I accidentally upgrade wrong? I think I did. And the Chaotic upgrades are insane. Okay. Ah, yes, I did upgrade this wrong. Do I have to go through each upgrade tier? That might be what I need to do. Oh no. So we have our basic tier. Our wyvern tier is going to require nether stars, draconic cores, and emeralds. You know what? We're going to have to pull all this out. 
Because that's exactly what I have to do. Oh wow, this is going to get a little bit more in-depth and complicated now that I look at it. So, still for each armor set, we still need to do that basic tier, I think. I just want to do a test and make sure that I'm actually doing that correctly. So on this one, we need two nether stars, two draconic cores, an emerald, and a wyvern core. So let's grab our core. Let's make sure that's correct. Two nether stars. Dracon two, or two draconic cores, wyvern core. And let's just make sure and then two emeralds. All right, we're getting pretty close. We'll head on over here, we'll get our emeralds. And we're gonna see how this goes. <laughs> that was completely my fault for thinking that's how that worked. Um, but I think we have to step it up each time is how I'm thinking it's, it's, it's meant to be done. Right? Two Draconic Cores, Wyvern Core, and one of the upgrades. Then we put the helmet in. Yes. So we have to tear it up each time, um, which is okay. That's, that's understandable. So we only need five of each set. So it's going to take a little bit of time for me to do this, but I'm going to get it done, guys. Um, and it looks like to upgrade this to the max upgrade we're gonna need some more awakened cores which are pretty easy for me to make so i'll just make some more awakened cores basically so right now i'm working on upgrading the last tier that we can get to which i think is tier three or maybe considered tier four um but we can actually go to chaotic and i realized i didn't need to make 20 of these i feel like a total derp now because technically you only need one it actually doesn't consume the upgrade i didn't i don't think it says anywhere control to pause i don't I don't know. It says control to pause. Um, I don't know why that even says that. But anyways, this right here, it doesn't say anywhere that it doesn't get consumed, but it doesn't. So each time I've upgraded this, as you can see, that one, there's only one in there and it just stays in there. Um, and these two require both of the same things. So I, as soon as this is done crafting each of our armor pieces, which we have this here, um, our armor should be at the max it can go. Because if we take a look here. I am on this tier now, and you have to go through them. Um, so I had to upgrade it to the tier Wyvern. Then I had to upgrade it to the tier Draconic, which is what it's working on now. But we can't actually upgrade to this because we need a Chaotic Core. The Chaotic Core is going to require us to kill Chaos Dragons in order to get Chaos Shards. So that's why we can't upgrade there. But we should be able to easily kill off a Chaos Dragon, hopefully next episode. That's my, my goal is by next episode we get that done. Now, this is using up like 256 million RF uh, to complete each each one of these crafts. So we probably are taking a little bit of a hit over here on power. I don't I don't know. Yeah, we're taking just a little bit of a hit we're down to 7 billion, but that's also included that's also including the charging of our armor which is going to be close to a billion RF in itself um, that we're going to have on us. So when this is almost done, because I think each one of these armor pieces should. Right now we're upgrading the actual armor itself, which is now done. So whenever we wear this, you'll see that now we're setting at 248,000 entropy, or I guess that's armor. Um, the entropy is uh, the blue and or the the blue bar, I think, or the blue bars are shield, which is the number. The green bars are entropy, and then our entropy when it goes down it recharges our shield slower um, and our shield is the blue bar so we just replenish our shield which is what the green and stuff is but now we need to take this out and throw in our storage for our RF and this should hopefully prevent us from being killed because right now these are storing 228 million RF each which puts us at 512 million stored RF that's just in our armor alone um, so now let's go ahead and get that in here and let that take off. And this is honestly the last upgrades that I think I want to have on this armor. Other than that, all we're doing now is waiting for that 200 plus billion EMC to, to fill out. Look at these guys. These guys are seriously on my case. 
Get out of here with that. In the midair. Wow, that guy's eyes are... No, no. Can't handle. Can't handle that. Um, anyways, we have 30 more million. Like, it's just slowly building up. We're going to just have to let it... Let it build up, and eventually we'll get to that 600 uh, billion that we need in order to make all the infinity ingots we need to make the Sword of the Cosmos. Man, I can't wait to fight the Chaos Guardian. I've actually never done that. Are, are you Are you surprised? I've... I've actually never fought the Chaos Guardian in a playthrough. So it's going to be kind of crazy to actually do that in this uh, this Let's Play. I'm super excited. Stonewalk has been really fun thus far. And uh, I've been able to set up quite a few different contraptions that I've never done before. Um, including all the things in Project E. Going through chickens more than I've ever done chickens before in my life. So it's kind of it's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. But I've been having fun this entire way. And you guys seem to be enjoying this series as well. Which uh, I'm really, really liking. Let's go ahead and finish that up. We're getting pretty close. We have both of these. You can see here, this, these that are fully upgraded, now they hold 256 million. It basically doubled. So yes, we're going to be storing basically a billion RF on us, just in our armor alone. Which is kind of ridiculous. And that piece is done. I'm going to go ahead and get these on me, just to go ahead and get them charged up. Yeah, just, yeah, it's crazy. You can see that bar on the left-hand side increasing as our shield power increases. Oh, man, that is insane. This is almost done. And now we have our full set on us. And these are going to take a little bit of time to just charge up simply because, yeah, this is going to take a little bit of time to charge up. I don't know, does this have a cap on it? Let's uncap that. There we go. Now this stuff's filling up a lot faster. And let's take a look. Look at this. Negative 4 million. It's pulling out of here to charge up our armor. And we're fixing to hit 1 billion. Yep, there we are. 1 billion and 204,000. Yeah. RF stored. That is crazy. Um, and then this thing holds 48 million in itself. The staff of power. And we can go even further. Over here, we have this thing called the portable battery. Um, and this is the Wyvern flux, flux capacitor. So. The flux capacitor actually isn't that bad to make. Uh, we need all of these things, which we can actually auto craft. Uh, let's see, I need four of those, right? Auto crafted, make those. And that's just to make the first tier. This one requires an awakened core, and we need draconic energy cores. Which uh, we have enough to make here as well. We need three of those in itself. Let's see, do I have enough to make this? No, I actually just used them, didn't I? So it's making one of those. We need to actually make more of those when these when this is finished. There we go, that's finished. We'll make four more of these. And then we'll be able to make this. Also, we need a wyvern core. So there's the four of those, and we need one of those bad boys, and we should be ready to rock and roll. Also, over here, I need to pull this out, because we actually need that in order to craft the top tier version. Guys, and we are about to be rocking full draconic everything. So there's our wyvern flux capacitor. That should give me a second to complete that quest. And then we go into this tier. Place that there. Now we have a Draconic Flux Capacitor. And I, I think this can also be upgraded for the storage. I'm not sure. I, actually, I don't, I don't see that being an option. Huh. I, I don't know. Maybe it can't. But this stores 256 million RF in itself. Um, I think, though... Am I wrong? Can't that be upgraded? The storage capacity upgrades? I'm thinking that that can actually be upgraded. Through a basic tier, we just kind of watch it rotate in here. It just shows armor for right now. Armor. Maybe it can't. So yeah, I guess this is it. And then you hold shift right click and that'll activate it. You can set it to charge art items or armor. Charge held items, charge armor and held items, or charge all, which we want it set to charge all, of course. And uh, yeah, that's about it. 
So guys, all we're waiting on now is a little bit of EMC. And we're literally almost there. We need about a hundred something more. By the way, why did that happen? Did I eat something I'm not supposed to? Am I able to eat stuff I'm not supposed to? Did I eat a bone or something? I should be eating only chocolate cake. But that's so cool. I don't remember that being a feature of this until like maybe recently where it auto eats for you. I don't I don't remember that. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video a thumbs up, guys. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching. Oh, 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 oh,